हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई शैल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट टू द टॉपिक इज डिप्लोमेटिक पार्ट फर्स्ट सो इन दिस टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस विद इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज रिलेशन बिटवीन द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज द टेबल ऑफ द वैल्यूज ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज ऑफ एंकर्स जीरो डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर एक्चुअली सराउंडेड बाई वेरियस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इन अवर डेली लाइफ बट ऑनेस्टली वी आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दिस फैक्ट इट विल बी इम्पॉसिबल टू कंस्ट्रक्ट हाउसेज कार्स एट्सेट्रा विदाउट द नॉलेज ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वी डो नॉट मीन दैट द एंटायर प्रोसेस इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस ट्रिग्नोमेट्री बट सर्टन मेजरमेंट्स एंड कंसेप्ट आर एक्चुअली बेस्ड ऑन दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट मैथमेटिक्स टॉपिक सिमिलरली देर आर मेनी अदर पीसेस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दैट आर रिसर्च मैन्युफैक्चर एंड डेवलप्ड through the use of some trigonometric concepts this topic is allotted for seven marks in the board examination with option you have to revise and recall the things that you have already studied in the previous standard the important point that we are going to discuss in this topic are trigonometric ratios trigonometric identities angle of elevation angle of depression problems based on heights and distances so friends today we will continue trigonometric ratios before that let us see to introduction to the trigonometry trigonometry is study of the relationship of angles lengths and heights now it has spread its application into wide fields like engineering physics surveyors architects astronauts and even in the investigation of crime scene apart from astronomy and geography trigonometry is applicable in various fields like satellite navigation developing computer music chemistry number theory medical imaging electronics electrical engineering civil engineering architecture mechanical engineering oceanology seismology phonetics image compression and game development trigonometry the branch of mathematics concerned with the specific functions of angles and their application to calculations there are six functions of the angle commonly used in trigonometry their names of the abbreviations are in the bracket so sin cosine tangent cotangent secant and secant these are respectively called as sin cos tan cot sec and cosec so friends now let us see what are the trigonometric ratios the ratios of the sides of the right angle triangle with respect to any of its acute angles are known as the trigonometric ratios of that particular angle consider a right angle triangle abc right angle at b with respect to angle c the ratio of the trigonometry are given as sin ratio sin of the angle is defined as the ratio of the opposite side that is perpendicular side of that angle to the hypotenuse therefore angle c which is also as angle theta in the figure is opposite side upon hypotenuse that is ab upon ac now cosine ratio cosine of an angle is defined as the ratio of the adjacent side of that angle to the hypotenuse therefore that is cos of angle c which is considered as a cos theta the angle considered as theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse that is bc upon ac tangent ratio tangent of an angle is defined as the ratio of the opposite side of that angle to the adjacent side to that angle therefore you can write tangent of angle c which could be said as tan theta is equal to opposite side upon adjacent which is ab upon bc so these are the three basic that you have already learned in the ninth standard now we'll see the next three ratios what that fourth one cosecant ratio we'll consider that figure once again here it is easy to understand cosine of an angle defined as the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side that is perpendicular side of that angle it is the multiplicative inverse of sine in short therefore cosecant of angle c will be cosec theta which is hypotenuse upon opposite side that is ac upon ab second ratio second of an angle is defined as the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side of that angle it is nothing but the multiplicative inverse of cosine second of c will be uh, or you may say sec theta which will be equal to hypotenuse upon adjacent side that is ac upon bc cosec 
cotangent ratio cotangent of an angle is defined as the ratio of the adjacent side of the angle to the opposite side of that angle it is nothing but the multiplicative inverse of the tangent ratio therefore you can write cotangent of angle c is equal to cot theta which could be written as adjacent side of a opposite side so bc upon ab so these are the six trigonometric ratios now let's see what is the relation between them according to the definitions of sec cosec sec and cot ratios sin theta is nothing but the 1 upon cosec theta you can say either otherwise cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta or you may say the product of sin theta into cosec theta is always 1 second relation cos theta is 1 upon sec theta or you could say sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta or you may say the product of this cos, cos theta into sec theta is 1 similarly tan theta is equal to 1 upon cot theta therefore you can write cot theta is equal to 1 upon tan theta otherwise the product of tan theta into cot theta is 1 tan theta also can be written as sin uh, theta upon cos theta means it is the ratio of sin to cos therefore you can write the tan theta is equal to sin theta into sec theta since 1 upon cos theta is sec theta so you can write that tan theta is equal to sin theta into sec theta otherwise tan theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta into cos theta that is sin is 1 upon cosec if you put that value you are getting the ratio now cot theta is equal to cos theta upon sin theta therefore you can write that cot theta is equal to cos theta into cosec theta otherwise you could write cot theta is nothing but 1 upon sec theta into sin theta so these are the some 15 relations if you know this previously first five basic relations the other could be derived from this five now next important thing is the table of the value of trigonometric ratios of angle 0 30 45 60 and 90 you can see here vertically you can see the six trigonometric ratios sin cos tan cot cosec and sec and on the horizontal there are angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. Friends, it is not necessary to mug up. You should have to just keep it mind how this table is how this table is to be recalled. How you can remember, how you can recall. First, what we will do for the sign ratio, we will write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 on respective 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 angle column. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Divide all by 4. 0 upon 4, 1 upon 4, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 4, 4 upon 4. Now take the square root of that. So first in the first column, 0 column, 0 upon 4 is 0 and square root of that is 0. So sin 0 is 0. Next in 30's column, 1 upon 4 square root of that. Square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 4 is 2. So sin 30 is half. In 45's column, 1 upon uh, 2 upon 4, 2 1 are 2, 2 2 are 4. So root of 1 upon 2, root 1 upon 2, root 1 is 1 and root 2, you can't get the square root, so write it uh, root 2 as it is. Therefore, sin 45 is 1 upon root 2. What is 60's column? Root 3 by 4. Now here, no division is possible. So square root of 3, you write root of 3 as it is and square root of 4 is 2. So sin 60 is root 3 upon 2. In 90's column, 4 upon 4 is 1 and square root of 1 is 1. You can see friend here, the reverse arrow is there from right to left in the cos theta column you have to write from 90 to 0 so in sin theta column in sin theta row you can see the last 90 is 1 that you have to take as a first that is cos 0 then root 3 by 2 in 30's column so root 1 upon root 2 in 45 and 30's column in 60's in case of cos theta 1 upon 2 so 0 is in the last column so cos theta you need not worry to find but in the reverse order you have to write in the cos column now what is tan theta that is nothing but a sin theta upon cos theta so you now divide sin theta by 1 sin theta by cos theta 0 upon 1 0 upon 1 is 0 only so tan theta value got change 0 is a 1 next here in 30s column sin 30 is half and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 2 2 geometry get cancels you are getting 1 upon root 3 in tan column so 45 is column you can look now sin is 1 upon root 2 cos is also 1 upon root 2 both are same get cancel there is 1 
in 60s column root 3 by 2 and cos column is half 2 to get cancel simply root 3 is the answer and in the last column sin is 1 and cos is 0 1 upon 0 it cannot be defined now here quart ratio you should not need to recall you just use the trick again here like how we find out the cos theta from the sin theta likewise quart theta can be calculated can be found from the tan theta again write from the reverse order first is tan theta then root 3 then 1 1 upon root 3 and 0 it also completed now cosec theta what is the cosec theta it is nothing but a reciprocal of sin theta means 1 upon sin theta is there so first 1 upon 0 0 is in 0's column sin theta is 0 means 1 upon 0 that gives you not defined and for 30 take the reverse 1 upon 2 2 goes up and 1 comes below at the denominator so here is 2 in 45 column root 2 goes up root 2 upon 1 is root 2 only and in 60s column it is 2 upon root 3 root 3 upon 2 in the sign to get converted into 2 upon root 3 and in the 90s column it is 1 again for sec theta you have to go along the arrow first you write 1 then 2 upon root 3 root 2 2 and not defined likewise it is easy to keep in mind need not necessary to mug up just use the trick i think you understood we will continue with the next point trigonometric identities prove that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 this is the identity consider this triangle abc wherein angle c is theta friends in the adjoining figure angle b is 90 angle c is theta therefore here sin theta is equal to uh, opposite side upon hypotenuse ab upon ac also cos theta is equal to adjacent side bc upon ac let it be equation 1 in triangle abc angle b is 90 so we can use the pythagoras theorem ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so dividing both side by ac square what you will get ab square upon ac square plus bc square upon ac square ac square upon ac square is 1 only therefore you can write ab square upon ac square by using the laws of indices you can write ab upon ac bracket as to square plus bc upon ac bracket as to square is equal to 1 in equation 1 we know the value of ab upon ac and bc upon ac that we will substitute here sin theta bracket as to square plus cos theta bracket as to square is equal to 1 from 1 and 2 so what is sin theta bracket as to square that is nothing but a sin square theta plus cos theta bracket as to square is the cos square theta is equal to 1 hence the, it is proved again two more proofs are there prove that 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cos x square theta by using the same trick we can use we will now use direct this sin square theta plus cos square theta 1 here we will do the proof friends we have sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 dividing both side by sin square theta of this equation so what will happen sin square theta upon sin square theta plus cos square theta upon sin square theta is equal to 1 upon sin square theta this sin square theta sin square theta get cancels one left plus sin cos upon sin is quat the square is there therefore you can take quat square theta which is 1 upon sin is sec sin square theta is there therefore you can take cos x square theta hence proved here write uh, what quat theta means what and cos x theta means what next third one prove that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta we'll do we'll write sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 dividing both side by cos square theta what will happen sin square theta upon cos square theta is equal to cos square theta upon cos square theta is equal to 1 upon cos square theta but sin upon cos is nothing but a tan ratio tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta therefore 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta you can write sin upon cos is tan square cos cos get 1 and 1 upon cos is sec therefore you can write 1 rearranging the terms 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta I think you understood all these things till whatever we have been discussed. So till now we discussed introduction to the trigonometry, then trigonometric ratios, relation between the trigonometric ratios, the table of the values of the trigonometric ratios of angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 and trigonometric identities. Friends, go through once again, revise this. Now you should not forget the famous words by Lyndon B. Johnson, yesterday is not ours. To recover friends yesterday is not ours to recover but tomorrow is ours to win i will not say to lose 
99.99 percent we are going to win so tomorrow is ours to win so go like this in your life if you like this video please subscribe share and with these words i would like to say thank you